and we're back. And this, this is the Acer Chromebook 15 with the Google Play Store. And this is a multi-touch touchscreen. 15.6 inches at 1920 by 1080 with four gigs of RAM rocking the Pentium processor. Now I'll tell you guys this, I haven't experienced much of Pentium processors, but I know once a Chromebook got four gigs of RAM, it's gonna perform pretty good. You got 32 gigs of flash storage, so that's gonna help you out because this Chromebook is coming with the Google Play Store. So let's take out the unboxing knife. Form blazing sword. Hang on team, we're going in. So let's crack into this and check out this Chromebook. Now I just unboxed the budget version of this Chromebook and I'm gonna tell you guys this, the build on that one was good. So I expect the pr pretty much the same build on this one. Let's get right into it. Acer Chromebook. Now, a lot of people out there are looking for a bigger Chromebook because they want to enjoy their media with a big screen. This is type C. That's a big difference right there. So let's get into the big reveal. I'm so excited about this Chromebook. Wow. You have an aluminum looking Chromebook that has, has a little bit of feel. The other Chromebook had a brush aluminum. This looks like a just straight up aluminum feel. Acer logo, nice and chromey. And you have the Chrome logo right there. This one fe actually feels a little lighter than the other one and feels a little bit more premium. On the bottom, you have a rubber texture that gives you some grip. You got four feet and you have a whole bunch of different screws. Let's get straight into this Chromebook. Oh, big difference. So you're going from matte screen on the budget version to this screen. So let's go for that boot up. Now that it's plugged in, let's see. There you go. So we got the boot up, boot straight in, and this is gonna be a more glossier screen than a matte screen. So the screen has already got an upgrade from the budget version. Pretty much, you know how to sign into your Chromebook. You're gonna put in your Wi-Fi information. You're gonna read your terms and conditions. You're gonna put in your Gmail. And once you do that, you're in and all your apps is gonna load up. And you, of course, you're gonna get an email that you just signed in. 32 gigs of storage. So if you're looking to download Google Play apps, you have enough storage to have a pretty good time with the Google Play Store. So you can see right there, Google Play Store, it's still in beta. This Chromebook, two speakers in the front, just like the other one. But looking at the speakers, I think is they're gonna be a little bit of an upgrade. So you're rocking the Pentium processor with four gigs of RAM. I'm very excited to check out the Pentium processor. Will it be running good? So you're gonna have a full HD resolution of 1920 by 1080. You have an IPS display, so it's gonna have some glare, but it's gonna be a much better display than the budget version. You have 12 hours of battery life, and this is rocking even faster Wi-Fi at 802.11. It's even faster, two times the speed, and you have the Google Play Store already installed on this Chromebook. Look at the trackpad. The trackpad has this nice chrome around it that makes it look rich. And it doesn't, it's plastic, but it has a nice smoother plastic that almost makes it feel like glass. The keyboard feels just as good as the budget version, but it might be tuned a little bit better. I think this screen is a definite improvement from the other version. Let's pick out a better wallpaper here to give a better representation, put a nice landscape. And you can see right there, pretty nice looking screen, definite upgrade over the 199 version. And this is a full touch screen. Full touch screen, you're able to scroll, awesome. This Chromebook right here is a definite winner 
if you're looking for a bigger screen with good process and power you got it right here and i think acer has hit the price mark right on the budget version and on this version as well and getting the google play store is even a plus so if you've been looking at the budget version and you just want that google play store paying this extra money is going to give you much much more <laughs> The build on this feels absolutely premium. The build on this is premium. You have a battery meter, you have Type C, and a USB 3.0 port. And on the other side, you have a micro SD card slot and you also have another USB 3.0 port with a USB type C port. So two USB type C ports and it doesn't look like they're both for charging. It looks like you're going to be able to do some stuff with those type C ports. This is coming with Bluetooth 4.0, which I don't like Bluetooth 4.0. I think 4.1 and higher is better. But other than that, this Chromebook is absolutely the Chromebook to get if you want a big screen. This is an amazing Chromebook for the price and you got that big screen. 1080p, anyone can live with, I'm happy with this. This Chromebook is definitely gonna make you happy. So if you're looking for a premium Chromebook and you don't wanna break the price of over $400, Look at this one right here. The Acer Chromebook 15 is definitely gonna make you happy. So pretty much with that guys, this has been the unboxing of the Acer Chromebook 15 with the Google Play Store. You guys look forward to the last word review because I'm gonna break this thing down. This is an awesome Chromebook at the right price. We'll see you in the last word of review.